All right, lads, welcome back. Uh, we are playing as Bactria in the year 143, uh, where we're going to be trying to, I don't know why, but take out the second largest empire this time, then the largest empire this time, to try and reclaim Alexander's empire, I suppose, but like the other way around by going from east to west instead of west to east. Uh, if you recall last time, uh, we just fought off Parthia. Uh, I've been since then consolidating our realm a little bit, and our truce has just expired, so we're going to go ahead and try to uh, snake a little bit towards Greece. I've been torn because the smart thing, as a lot of people pointed out, is to consolidate my holdings in, uh, in India. I don't want to do that because I want to sort of, you know, head west as soon as possible. Although Rome is going to be quite strong for a while because the classical age and not the migration age. And let's, at the first of the month, go to war with Bam. For Bam, not with Bam. I suppose it is technically with Bam, but you understand what I mean. Alright, with this sort of stuff, we've got to be really careful with how we pick and choose our battles. Uh, I'm going to be pursuing the same strategy as last time, which is basically trying to bait them into the mountains. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scorch the earth here. And we do have a four siege general. Uh, I don't know how effective he's going to be. Because what I usually do, or party and army, what I usually do is I fight them a couple of times, drain their manpower, and then when I've sent them packing, that's when I attack for this. Uh, I've just realized I've scorched the earth and left it alone, so that's... Uh, Horrible. Yeah, I haven't really fully dealt with the rebel issues because we got the large empire modifier because we're a large empire. So that sucks. Yeah, if we could go ahead and win this one there. All right, he's actually going to back it up. Okay, that's... Mm, I didn't really think that he would. Okay, that's a good start. Now, reach the end soon, which sucks because this woman has uh, plus 5% to our morale. It's kind of important given the lack of modifiers that we have. I don't know why I didn't do it for this fort. That would have been a really smart move. Instead, I've got to try and hold the province so they can just come and nick. Okay, I'm going to try and wait for them to go into the Highlands fort there. I'm also going to send back 16,000. I know it's a risky move, but I do need to handle a lot of these guys. We're waiting the Highlands and the mountains and that sort of stuff. We're going to hold on to Bam. We're going to chill. How much is it for Highlands? Minus 25%. Okay. I'm gonna drop off 2,000. Just gonna drop off 2,000 men. Go and deal with these guys. This is kind of dicey. Not gonna lie. Not a fan of 70,000 men being next to my troops. Oh, it's 80,000. And more rebels besides. Okay. The issue is with this sort of war is I have to be like really, really on point. And, uh, and it's very hot in my office right now just because, well, it's a heat wave going on in the UK. Okay, that's 21,000. That's, oh my god, that's so I might have to just get free company or something just to go and deal with these separatists behind us. Make our king into a general. He's okay. He only has one in siege, which is good. So I'm going to defeat him here, and then I'm going to push over here and see if I can start heading towards his capital. God, I just, the issue is I can't ever just, like, do a decisive blow against him because he'll retreat before he gets into any real trouble. I'll lose, like, he'll lose 4,000. I'll lose, like, under 1,000. It's not an issue. Hit him in the mountains again. Hopefully that's a stack wipe. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is. Okay. Woo! Okay, right. I'm just gonna hope that my free company can take out these 8,000 troops. Should have scorched the earth there. That was a mistake. There's so many little things I need to be doing and I don't do and it's... Uh. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna sacrifice Bam. So let him have the war goal. Is that desert? It is desert. Because ultimately I can siege faster than him. So I can presumably take this stuff back faster than him. Oh, okay, that's that's annoying. Uh, I, need, I need... I think that's my combat general. It was... Ugh. The advantage of just having a bunch of military power. Uh, all right, let's get rid of anything that doesn't have any yellow pips. Shock is way more important than fire right now. So let's probably not hit you. No. No. If I can clear out these smaller stacks, at the very least. Wait, is that a fort? The rebels took the fort? Oh, that's, that's upsetting. Actually, this is a better idea. If I let them into my land and don't let them go and take this stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. I forgot that Persis is actually... Part of their domain. God, everything is so mountainous. It's just so painful to fight like this. Bear in mind our troops are like a lot better than theirs. By 10% discipline, which is a huge amount in this mod. Oh, it's Drylands. Okay, in which case I did really, I really wanted to fight that. That was a brilliant, another brilliant tactical maneuver from Lathe. I mean, honestly, I'm full of them. Is that Drylands as well? Oh, God, that fort is about to fall. Let's go deal with that. Happily fight 9,000 of the mountains. Thank you. Does Albania want to come out? Nope. Usually they do at some point. We've, we've done this song and dance, what, like five times at this point. This is the first time I'm being this aggressive. Usually I'm a lot more passive than that. Oh, that's super frustrating. Okay, oh well. That is a mountain fort after all. That is painful to deal with. Where's my capital? Oh, it's over here. That's wonderful. It's no no longer protected. That's that's fun. Ah, oh, see. Oh, this is dangerous. This is... Okay, things are getting... Oh, that's why I don't have any manpower. I was wondering why things weren't going well. Uh, Rebels, Independence of Parthia. I'm assuming it's just... Yep, they're going for my capital, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, that was an important one to win. Go murder. Oh, you actually protecting that? You are? Okay. That's not good. I'm just going to chuck everyone in there. Okay, well, it's, it's, again, another brilliant tactical maneuver. Wait, what? Oh, you rivaled me. This is my only ally. 
Okay. You want a white piece? Sounds good, Thamud. Dude, if you just not come back next time we have to fight this lot, it'd be great. That's what I wanted to see. It's the mountains. We're defending the mountains. That's good. Really, can you? Really? Okay, the issue is this place is a dry land and I will get outmaneuvered on dry lands. So I need this free company to go up and help. Why can't I? Oh, I have to go and take this fort, don't I? God, this was always so painful. What's going on here? Please win that. Okay. Watch the earth to give yourself as much chance as possible. You did your job though. You did your job very well. Okay, that's huge. That's uh, very useful indeed. Right, let's go deal with these guys over here. Go and defend that. Is that Drylands? Okay, Drylands. Right. I need to go and take back the war goal now to get ticking war score. So stupid rebels, man. All right, free company. You're off again. Albania, you want to come out? Huh? Buddy? Buddy? Pal? No! <laughs> All right, you need to go and deal with that lot over there. I'm going to go and take Bam. In the meantime, please win that. Oh, okay, excellent. All right, I'm going to take a huge risk here. I'm going to bet that I can win this. Combat width is not... Oh, it's Highlands, not Mountains. I staggered that completely incorrectly. <sighs> Still one though. That was poor from me. All right, we are in his capital for the first time. Okay, next time I'm just gonna go through and take all the forts. I think is in the, in the peace deal. I'm gonna go, just go and deal with those those guys, please. And then you are you turning around? You are turning around. Okay, let's take a bit of a risk to try and maximize war score. Albania would come out. Didn't stagger that properly. Oh, I'm losing my concentration as the hot weather then increases and my eyes are getting dry. My contact lenses aren't sitting at all well in my face. God, I'm getting really lucky with these sieges. Okay, is that? Okay, that's dry lands for. Definitely need to go ahead and grab another slacken. Please don't win that. Who's getting there first? Hopefully me, right? Okay. Oh, well, it, it brought him off the fort, I suppose. So let's just retreat out of that. Stay in the mountains. That works. That was the plan all along. I need this fort. I think I'm going to snake and just take these forts so I don't have to do it again. I'm pretty sure we can beat him in like standard a, a standard fight now. Okay, if I move his capital off of this, though, it's going to go into one of the mountain forts, I reckon. So let's not do that. I uh, could just consolidate a hold here. Oh, we actually have to fight. Uh, if we take these two, what happens? We get national arrest for three years. That's probably worth it. For those of you who are going to be upset that I'm not actually using my powers properly, like, I, you don't understand how many times you hit max power in this stupid mod. Things are starting to go wrong for me, lads. That's what happens when you uh, try and develop too much. I developed by two and I lost six... Um, the development, so that's that's fun. Is that Highlands? It's Highlands, so it's 25%, so it's just worth sending everyone in. Can you stop sending troops to their deaths, please? It's inconvenient, you're blunting our swords. Should win a standard siege race, to be honest. Don't go to BAM. Okay, good, he's not going to BAM. For some reason, he's not going to BAM. Okay, that should be it, right? 90%, that should be enough. Take that to fully realize it. Okay, and just money. There we go. Whew. I swear to God, these wars get trickier each time. All right, former homeland. Lovely. So we need these two, and then I get, I can discover new areas, and then beyond the known, I just march into the Arcan. Do I think he wanted to ally me or allied me at some point? Let's bring everyone home. I'm gonna buy down war exhaustion. Should have done it the other way around, but to be honest, it's it's not that big of a deal. You really should have risen up, you know, when I had an issue uh, with fighting. Not now. This is a stupid time to rise up. Alright, take the next Miltech. That's nice. What's up next? Uh, Sura and Separatists. Go stand over there. I didn't miss any forts, did I? So the only thing that they have is up here. It might be worth me building a fort. Okay, firstly, this, this Drylands fort is going to be utterly garbage, so let's get rid of that. That's my, the mountains, that's Highlands. Okay, I don't really care about the Highlands fort so much. We are a great power, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're number three. We're actually more than Parthia. We have double Parthia's development, but somehow their troop count is like better than ours. <laughs> I don't know what kind of scuffed empire I'm running over here. I should probably be making liberal use of vassals, and yet I'm not. Oh, right, I'm going to take these two. That gives me loads of claims. Oops. We want to start raising autonomy in areas. I think big enough now that that's probably a good idea. Because I'll be honest, I don't want to sit here and manage all of these stupid rebels over and over and over again. I am tempted to take malware as a vassal. How long have I got left? Like nine years? I'm going to raise autonomy everywhere and just go for constant expansion. Or at least I'll take someone as a vassal. Is there anyone here that I could take as a vassal? It's like tiny. Uh... Anyone that has cores anywhere that isn't, you know, just on me. Malwa has a couple. So maybe grab Malwa as a vassal and then maybe... Do you have any cores around here, Kanju? Oh, hello. Blue Horde. Blue Horde. I kind of want to resurrect the Blue Horde. That sounds like... That sounds like fun. All right, boys. We're resurrecting the Blue Horde. Get your asses north. All right, we're doing it. We've got to go quickly because it's going to slip out of um, their control for a little... And then, oh, it's going to slip out of their control soon. Who are they allied with? Oh, I didn't do the ruler policy to inspire the troops. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, I think one vassal north, one vassal south. If anything, a coalition would be good for me right now. Brew those words later on. I suppose my religious unity is not helping things. Yeah. Probably why I got more and more rebels the more I expand. Shocking, that. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I'm just going to get you to end rivalries and such. All right, we've got our 100%. Let's do the piece. And now let's... Wait, what? Oh, I clicked that button. Because oh. my UI mods, if I click that button, the game doesn't know what to do and it just kills itself. So that's fun. Misclicked and, and now that's that's a thing. All right, this time, 
without messing this up. Where is he? Blue Horde, Blue Horde, Blue Horde. Is he still alive? Is the Blue Horde still alive? No, he's not, clearly. So why can't I release him? I can't release the Blue Horde. Ooh, I was really banking on the Blue Horde taking all of this. So, Blue Horde? No, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me wait a month. Okay, now it's reset. Let's see. Blue Horde? Ah, oh, I did not want this territory. I really didn't want this territory. He wouldn't become my vassal? This sucks. I, I guess, I guess we just core it then. <laughs> I really didn't want this land. Well, I guess we get lost colonies. <laughs> On the outskirts of the Bactrian region, towards the Fergana Valley, they have withdrawn to the last remaining Greek cities. Gradually their existence will be forgotten unless we reconquer this region and bring our people back. And Samarkan domination. Just gives us merchants plus one. Hell yeah. It's super useful. Um, kind of want to move towards the Persian node as much as possible. Maybe we shift over to Samarkand for the time being and then just flow everything into it. I don't really have that much domination over it in comparison to, for example, this one. So maybe not. I could just collect from Samarkand for now. Yeah, we'll just um, collect from Basra. Collect from Samarkand. Okay, well, sorry, Blue Horde. I, I did really try. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> uh, now, historically, you've been a bit of an issue. So I'm not really happy about bordering you. You just came out of nowhere. I, I, I like the Huns that destroy Rome. Yeah, this is the kind of quality content I want to see. Now, I did want to declare war on you. So let's get Cassus Belli. Promise is 26 development. Damn. The Royal Marry the Huns. I mean, you become relevant like, what, 300 years? Ago? Oh my God, it's actually Attila. It's literally Attila the Hun. I'm so happy right now. I'm a big fan of your work. Definitely gonna need some vassals. I'm already very far of my governing capacity. Now, to be fair, I'm like 110 development away from being a king of, from an empire. So just spin on my military power like this. Here we go. And now we're gonna, well, not really much point slackening now. We got one's four siege. That's a five siege. Let's keep hold of him. I'm gonna three three with three siege is not bad either. Anything without shock bits, basically. Did you just juke me? Like I just went around me. Every time I try and develop somewhere, famine. This governing capacity stuff's really hard, and I really needed the blue horde there. Plague lose nine development. Wonderful. Rome's attacking the Iceni. Interesting. Oh, the looks of it, the Iceni have been kicking Rome's ass this entire time. So, I mean, fair enough. I want to call it. Should I call in the Huns? Dilla, let's do it together, bro. Dude, look how many forts he has. It's just, ugh, the worst. What do I even declare war for? Wadar. Where's that? Oh, the Huns going in. Do they have any special bonuses? No, they just got horrible troops. Well, I appreciate the support nonetheless, Mr. Hun. Right. What are you going to do here? Get some extra troops in just in case I mess this up. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, it's Highlands. Okay. Let's chuck everyone in then. It's Highlands. Our troops are obviously a lot... Whoa, their morale actually caught up a little bit. I do not like the look of that. I also don't like the look of that. Or the look of the Huns. Oh, for God's sake. And there's a drought. <laughs> Our air has a military command. He's, he's not great. That's fine. Let's go take out Kanju. Really thought the Huns would be able to handle that. Pretty sure the issue is he just sort of builds new forts every time I take him. So in essence, he's just slowly bankrupting. But to be honest, I think he focused way too much on the Huns there. Well, there goes my alliance with the Huns. That mountains desert. Okay, good. Alright, let's get a couple of victories off. I don't know who died. Okay, it wasn't the five siege guy. Good. That's a good little win there. Right, I suppose you just keep sieging. I would much rather you didn't win that, if that's okay. If possible. Hey, stupid game. <laughs> why do I play it? Why, do I, why, why have I sunk like hours and hours and hours of my life into this, man? Right, Kanju, I'm gonna need you to uh, not be a part of this anymore. Thank you. Ooh, Bactrian Vassal. And I can just give you this stuff back. I don't want to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the duality of man. I, I don't want it, but also I don't want to give it away. Surely a five siege guy can win a siege faster than that guy, right? If not, I don't want to be here anymore. No, he's going to lose it, isn't he? I'm going to lose the siege race. He's got one siege, I've got five. <laughs> now, why have I just taken an admin tech when I'm about to take a bunch of territory? That's a very interesting question. It's because I am, in fact, an idiot. So I don't have any manpower. Pretty sure my king just died. Excellent. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose that battle. Wonderful. Uh, don't, don't get angry. Don't get angry. That's what the audience wants. That's what the audience wants. How do these wars get harder? Every time I win and I take more territory, my life gets worse. The wars get harder. The wins, farther and few between. Spend all this military power. Slack in a bunch. We clearly need it. They want me to go up. No, oh, what? No, I don't care. Guess you're going back, boys. <laughs> okay, we almost lost that. All right, don't don't win that siege or uh, any sieges, please. I, I I can't do this. I've already got 25% war score. I feel like I'm losing this war. I don't like. I've taken all the four. Oh no, one one. Okay, good. At least at least the only one one. I think this time around it was harder because I didn't have as much of an emphasis on actually like murdering him. Like I've not been prioritizing uh, getting stack wipes or or kills or anything else like that. I've just been focusing on. Winning the fort, which I thought would be a better strategy, but apparently it, it is not. I'm not getting out of that one alive, am I? Also, I think my troops are somehow worse, like in comparison before. His troops are better. Like he's got 1.1 morale. 
Oh, he's entered into a golden era. What, what do, I don't need to borrow his generals. I, I need men. I need to borrow men. I need to borrow some Huns. I'll return them. I'll, I'll fill them up before, before they come back. <laughs> he just wins that siege every time I'm about to get in there. All right. That's a mountain fort at least. I can win that. Head in there. Win that. The next time we pick a war goal that's a lot closer. Or at least I take the one that I take from the beginning. Okay, I think we've reached a tipping point now. He does not have troops. Like, clearly he doesn't have a military left, right? Parthia, 3,000 troops, and he's using mercenaries. Okay, okay, we've killed enough now. I've lost so many troops. He's lost more, but only marginally. That's the terrifying thing. All right, are there any sort of vassals that I can release over here? What are you? Atra, okay, I'm gonna release you. And just, you're gonna be my vassal in the area. The rock's not a thing. What are you? Abedidine. Armenia, Armenia's a great vassal to have. I'll, I'll snake up here, and then I'll just give everything in this region to Armenia. Uh, and then the rest of this stuff I want to keep for, like, a reconquest. So let's just split them in three. So he can't actually access this land anymore. Yeah, I think something like that would work. Now all I have to do is win the war. Which is proving to be a little bit trickier than anticipated. That doesn't help. Got a Assyrian separatist here. If I can lock him off, then he'll then release the Assyrian separatist. Oh, good. Kill yourself against some Assyrian. All right, Fumud's on low. So we can white piece them. <laughs> just, I don't know why they keep on getting involved in these stupid wars, man. I remember all that time ago where I wanted to fight and that worked. <laughs> Get the claims, boys. All right, now that should be the peace deal. So we cut him off. I kind of want to come off from here as well. Instead of that, if I take that, you can probably get military through Albania though, unless I take a star. If I drop you and like you, you, okay, I want that one because it's a fort. Take a star, that cuts him off here. Cuts him off here, mostly cuts him off here, okay. So he's, cut, he's basically split into like, what, one, two, three, four chunks. Okay, we lost 150,000 troops. Now we've got to pick a new rival. You and the Han Dynasty, why not? All right, where's Albania? Al Armenia, we're in Albania. Okay, Armenia, I'm going to force feed you worse. Look, I just, I don't, I don't even have anything to say. I just want, I need you to take this land off me. Uh, I've already called this stuff. I'm just going to give it to him anyway. Excellent. All right, so that's that stuff dealt with. We only have like a couple of provinces we need to core. We also finish this mission to destroy Indo-Parthia. I guess loads more claims. And now I want to get ready to go to war over here. First things first, sign provinces. I can't assign any provinces. Okay, let's go murder Malwa. Okay, so that was uh, an incredibly painful experience. And the Assyrians are taking out Sesiphon. All right, I think one more war against Parthia and then I think we're ready to take on the... Oh, wow. Okay, that's mm, put so many more troops in the Parthians. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't wouldn't phase Alexander. All right, you got a lot of cores, which is lovely. No, the Romans are gonna come in and murder the, the Syrians. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, we're not quite at the level to increase our... We have eight, eight, we took like six provinces. How do we still have the same amount of... What? All right, so, late classical age. It's not quite the migration age. Uni unified culture, idea group, have a general release for shock, be at peace for 50 consecutive years, low autonomy, nah. 5,000 ducats, nope. Manpower cat. Uh, okay, none of these. Maybe, generally these four shot, we've already done that. Unify every province of a culture of a province group. We could, I mean, I think we've already done that, but I've been trying to convert people to Bactrian. How are you allowed in me? Surely this is gonna make my life easier, right? Romans, the Parthians fighting. That's a good thing for me, yeah? Right? All right, boys, can't let that stand. And as much as I really want it to stand, we can't let the Romans do that. Because unfortunately for us, Armenia has a lot of cause that they just took. <laughs> Which means we have to fight the Romans. All right, here it is, boys. Right, here it is, boys. I'm trying to take Bezid. Fight how much? I really, really don't want to do this. We have better troops by a decent margin. Look, I'm fighting your enemy. Will you military assist? No, you will not. You are wonderful. All right, allied to this guy, who I can probably knock out pretty quick with this four siege guy. Don't need loan from Gothia. I need an invasion from the Huns. Because once the Roman war machine starts turning towards me, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? I just need my southern front, like, clear. I need to get rid of these guys, these Charisene guys. And also, there's nothing, like, it's not like Parthia where I can, like, snake into their heartlands and take them out. It's Rome. Like, I could take this entire section here and it just wouldn't even phase them. Take a couple more provinces, I get loads and loads and loads of claims, including siege ability and discipline, which I probably should have checked out. Integrate Persia, that gives me more claims and 500 ducats and advancing to Mesopotamia. I'm already here. I'm already past Mesopotamia. At the gates of Europe. Look, claim Asia Minor. This is how you're meant to do it, Leif. Why am I, why am I doing it like this? Vassalization of Armenia. We already did that. I'm gonna lunge out a little bit. The Romans don't seem to be forthcoming with anything. I think it's because they're out of manpower. That's why I declare this war. Yeah, zero manpower. Why are we dealing with rebellions elsewhere? Oh, they're, they're, they're kind of here. It's nice having a vassal that like cleans up all the guys in between. Yeah, they are having rebel issues, aren't they? Overextension. 
Yeah. And they can't call these provinces because I'm standing on them. All right, that's why they're that's why they're hurting. Oh, you thought I was gonna help? Uh, sorry. Go in here. Oh, I should let the Armenians move. I think they were gonna fight him. Is he gonna back it up? He did not. Let's go protect these guys down south. Uh, Highland. Why are you just chilling in your own land? All right, I'm gonna set you to see. Let's formalize this relationship. Uh, see, Romans run around in stacks of 16 because they know the, the meta. Uh, they also have more cavalry than I do. That's also gonna be a thing. That's probably why I was getting hurt by the Parthians because I don't have any cavalry whatsoever. This is gonna be a painful one to fight. Isn't it? Oh, in the deserts. They can just march around me into the deserts. Ah, uh, Bedouins, I'm gonna need you to rise up. There's no one here. No one exists in this in this <laughs> space. Uh, of course, that, that makes sense. That was a Good fight to take. All this territory. Not even that. They probably haven't even noticed it. Rome's like, huh? What? Oh, half our, like, half parts of our empires. All right. Well, whatever. So I don't have a navy. I've got like one that I built to help with sieges, but I haven't actually used it. Oh, that's so far away. All right. Let's send, uh, send this guy. Go on. Go deal with it. How? Wait, how are things the free company? Dude, he's just sacrificing land. And obviously, it, it does hurt to, to try and keep moving forwards just because... The sheer amount of manpower. Okay, right, let's get a manpower guy instead. It means we're less effective in battle, but to be honest, I don't see any battles taking place. He's not even, <laughs> not even close to India yet. Go on, Armenia. Take him out. Take him out, Armenia. Oh my god, he might actually do it. Go on, Armenia. Oh, you legends. Always rated Armenia. Boys, we can see Greece. We can see our homeland. We can't cross because the Roman navy, but we can see it. We know it's there. Macedonia from whence we came. We can see it. It won't happen in this war, but someday, one year, we'll we'll, we'll get there. All right, the Romans are doing something sneaky, sneaky behind us. Let's go send 16,000 to go and deal with that because they are spreading out a little bit. Might even be a stack quite, you know, not quite. Push them back across the Caucasus. I'm going to trust that 8,000 men can hold Anatolia. Wait, Christianity would have started spreading now, isn't it? Yep, Macedonians a thing. I'm going to fight them on the mountains because we do have a bit of advantage, provided he doesn't reinforce it. I'm gonna lie, I thought we'd have won that by now. Okay, that's painful, let's pull out. Still did more damage than we took, but I should probably start bringing out some reinforcements. There's the Armenian stack wipe. Okay, they want to engage on a mountain fort. That's how long it took, by the way. That's how long it took for me to get to India. Jesus Christ, no wonder Alexander stopped. His army went on strike. Like, I would too. I think the war score cost should scale with the size of the uh, nation. So, it, like, inversely, if, if you understand what I mean. So, like, because Rome's so big, I should be able to take more territory because they're not going to care too much about losing it. Not not care too much, but, like, it's... it's it, yeah, just it should be inverse. Some people want proportional taxation. I want proportional annexation. Yeah, I'll just let the Assyrians do their thing. You mean, after all that time, it, it didn't march in? Okay, the Romans, again, separatists up and down the joint. Finally, a stack wipe. My god. How much war score do I get from battles right now? Plus six. Okay. Right, get back Armenia to all of its cores. Now what? I think... Yeah, Bactria can't make it a core. Bactria can make it a core. Bactria could definitely make it a core. I can't take any land. Okay, clear off. I could do it if I do that. We could actually... We could semi-make it to Greece. Okay, let me let me, let me me do this properly. All right, Kaimod, feel free to speed this part up. Yeah, for some reason, unless I take it myself, I can't actually... I'm tempted to also go for war operations here. Like... Not take territory myself. Surely it's got to be another smaller battle. Pontus? Pontus? Seems like a decent one. Down here, Cappadocia. Cappadocia's kind of small. Can't see because, like, I've occupied it and it's flashing purple, which is a similar color to mine, but also the Romans. I'm tempted to, to go and take Pontus and then get, like, that going. Where does Pontus start? Pontus starts from, like, Guria. We can take... I can take Guria. And he'll accept 23% more. I Honestly, I think I just have to accept that this is as far as I'm going to get for now. Like, maybe just take war reparations, which I'm sure is a huge amount. How much money does he have? Okay, that's disgusting. I don't want that much. Tempted to also release Assyria. Nah, they're, they're kind of small. Uh, it's actually, it's not worth it, is it? I, I didn't. Mm. The Bactrians are in North Africa to try and secure this peace. That's the horrifying thing. I might start seeing some stiffer resistance here. Excellent. A peace with the random guys over in, uh, in Britain. Seems strange you'd send a delegation just to do that when I've not even seen your troops. And to be honest, I don't know what you look like. That's another one. I just, I, I, I need to send some troops home because I keep on forgetting. Oh my God, they've taken my capital. Ugh, things at home are getting dicey. Right, I'm actually going to take this army and go all the way home. We're trying to siege back our homelands, boys. Oh boy, okay. Well, we found the uh, the Roman army, at least. Let's start pulling out of here. There's 30, 40,000 troops here. 30 something thousand. Yeah, okay, let's let's pull out. We, we won the Siege of Carthage, that's all we need to do. I won back back tree at least. Uh, let's go deal with you guys. Thank you for murdering the rebels. Murder some more rebels. People entering the coalition. Our truce with Parthia is up. That's that's how long it's been. How long has this war been going on? Ten years. <laughs> we are negative two away, I believe. A little bit longer, boys. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. We're literally in Greece. We've taken back our homelands. We know it's here. Because remember, the first uh, episode, we weren't too sure. All right, this is what we want to see. So, we're going to take back some land. We're going to take some land. It'll be a coalition, but who cares? I mean, obviously, ideally, we would go and... Huh. <laughs> oh, we 
gotta keep fighting. We gotta keep fighting, boys. <laughs> we need our forts to hold out and everything to hold out just a little bit longer. That's the rebels back home, almost completely dealt with. There's an army there we could fight. I think we just need to squeeze out a little bit more war score from literally anywhere we can. Okay, right, that's that is the rebels dealt with. Uh, we got some issues over here. No, okay. I don't think it's us. Okay, they're good. They're not fighting us. Okay, we could we could just take back Macedonia, which I think I'm gonna do because I think we care realistically. We care more about that than some random Armenian provinces, right? <laughs> we did it. We took back Macedonia. Oh god, we've also left the Romans in a horrible or like a horrible state. They don't have any manpower, I don't believe. They've got five thousand manpower. They've still got seventy-six thousand troops, but their force limit has dramatically like fallen off i assume because of events and such um and they have rebel problems uh pretty much everywhere shit they're unrest uh huge empire governing capacity that sort of stuff they do have a lot of other things going on for them revanchism is the main thing and luck but yeah i think that's where we'll leave it today boys if you want to see another episode if you want me to see me actually like get all the uh get all the promises nice and clean then please do let me know uh, by liking and subscribing. Uh, particularly the liking side of things just pushes, you know, pushes the video out to more people so they can see it and uh, and and I can grow and we can all make me do this again. Which, coming to think of it, I don't really want to, but I guess <laughs> needs must. Um, in any case, I do hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Once you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.